Hello. Hope y'all doing good today. Um, I want to do a... I want to do a love message for all signs. I'm going to start doing this every week so you all can always come back here and find a message from me at Pound Star Oracle. And if this is your first time viewing my channel, please hit subscribe if you feel my vibe. And I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to start with Aries and go down the line. So here you go, Aries. Here's your love message. And I hope it helps you today. Oh, this is nine of wands so there is some uh fast somebody with some fast fast action pack action jackson i call them one of that one <laughs> maybe they're wanting a new beginning with you it's this knight of wands which is a aries leo or sag and i'm doing a reading for you aries so this is your energy your action jackson and we got five of swords, and, uh, you know, this is about you uh, you winning this person over. See how she's winning in the, in the middle? That's what it is. So you're wanting to move towards this person that you feel like at, you would be uh, able to win and be successful with in your life, and... Hey, go for it if y'all both single, you know. Oh, but we got ten of wands here. This has been a burden for you. You've packed a lot of burdens with this person, and, you know, it, and uh, maybe you're going through a transformation at the moment, and, and that's how you feel like you're winning. And here we got the hermit. Yeah, you took time for yourself to relax and come back to yourself and you're hermiting at the moment you don't want nobody to bother you because what it is Aries and and uh, that's how you've you're removing these burdens is by going inside and hermiting you know it and Queen of Cups Queen of Chalices right here um, you you love this person and you want to tell them your feelings and or, or this person really loves you, Aries. You see, it's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. It's just the energy of uh, Queen of Cups. You know, loving, intuitive, kind, caring, nurturing mother, mother figure. And so it said you took action to go towards this uh, person that maybe you, you, you was competing with at one time, and. And you feel like it was uh, always burdening you, so you took time to rest and recharge, and and now you're being seen as loving, intuitive, kind. Okay. Um, let's see what love card pulled out for you guys. Can we have a message? Oh, temptation. So maybe you're just getting this tempting energy to go towards this person. And, you know, only you know if you should go towards it. Because it's telling you, think carefully about this situation, Aries. Maybe they're just tempting you. What about five of swords? What did that say? Rejoice. Uh-oh. Embrace your loving connection and rejoice. So you need to think about it because you all do have... Um, a loving connection and you want to rejoice with each other and you know you're just wanting to remove these burdens from your back and you're wanting to rekindle every relationship has magical moments that can be rekindled see and what about the hermit learn learn let love show you how to learn from each other that's what you all have learned that's what you and your person has learned, Aries. You're learning that all these lessons was a blessing in disguise. And, oh, yeah, look here, Aries. It's telling you to be open. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationship. So you put it in divine's hand and look. 
be open to this marriage. Look there, Aries. 511, I just saw. A marriage of souls is a union of two divine counterparts blending together. So, so you've learned from uh, you being open or your person being open that this is how you need to be in a marriage, you know. It's saying temptation is always going to be around. Rejoice the connection that you have and rekindle the magical moments that you all want shared and learn from each other and be open to each other so you all can get married. That's what it's saying, okay? Or you're all already married, but you got to be open in it. All right, you guys. And... Uh, let me get you one of these little messages. Oh, your priorities, King Solomon. So you changed your priorities. You was in that devil energy, you know, temptation, and you changed you changed your priorities, and and you started taking action to change that about yourself. And hey, I I love you about it because you started thinking carefully, and and that's great. And um, all these challenges and obstacles uh, and that you overcame uh, and you started embracing your loving connection and you want to rejoice because you opened your heart to love. Jesus energy. Look there, Aries. I love y'all. 636 I just saw. So rejoice that this Jesus energy is helping you and King Solomon. Ain't that something? I like that, don't you, Aries? And, and rekindle this. You, you're wanting to rekindle this relationship but you felt a lot of burdens by this relationship also. What else for that one, Spirit? Please and thank you for Aries. Yoga. Baba Yaga says, so maybe you need to do some yoga and to feel better and take those burdens from your body, okay? And then you went. You need to go hermit mode and, and let love show you how to learn from each other, okay? And with that, we got twin flame. Look, Aries, you got a twin flame. And uh, that's who you're learning from. Ain't that something? I love how Spirit tells these. 727. And uh, you see this person as very loving, kind, intuitive, and open to marriage with you. What else about that, Spirit? Please and thank you very much. What else about open to marriage? And please and thank you. Oh, uh, you because you started detaching from drama. This person taught you that. Or you taught it to them, Aries. And... This is Pallas Athena. Maybe you got Greek Greek uh, DNA. But uh, you detach from all the drama and you're all being open and you're wanting to marry your twin flame. And, you know, and ain't that something, man. I hope this helped you today, Aries, because I'm trying to keep these a little short. So, but I'm going to get better and I'll start uploading them. And I got to make this 818. I got to make this something i do every week and i love y'all and if you liked what i did please hit a little like subscribe and i thank you and i love you and i hope this helps you because you do got a twin flame and and they're open to learning with you and, and to marriage peace